Now today I'm going to share decks that I'm anticipating. This is a new sort of series that I'm planning to start on my channel where I'm going to show you the recent deck releases or upcoming deck releases, I guess, for the next two, two and a half-ish months. Um, but this uh, video is going to be about all the decks that uh, are coming out that I'm anticipating so that I am very excited for that I might or will probably get. And then the next video that's coming up is also about new deck releases, but those are the ones that I am actually anti-hauling. So ones that I am not excited about, ones that I will not get, um, or that I am excited about but just won't get. Okay, so I am going to sh share my screen here. Um, we are starting with the Shadow and Light Oracle. This is really cool looking. This is published by Rockpool. And it's coming out, it's getting published in May. So this says it is a deck to stimulate self-improvement, thought patterns, and personal growth in a very practical way. This deck will assist people in whatever. Here, this is the important or the interesting part. Each card reflects two either opposing or complementing perspectives on a matter, showing the reader different ways of looking at a problem or aspect in, in life. Every card description also includes an affirmation for meditation or daily mental practice, as well as practical tips that can assist in the particular situation represented in the card. So let's go over the cards. Oh, I forgot. So Rockpool is really, really slow with loading the images. So while that's loading, what I find super interesting is that this is an Oracle deck that has, like I said, up opposite, uh, um, like opposing keywords on every card. So um, it's literally like the shadow and the light. So you would have a card that says shadow and light, both of them. So you can use it as sort of a, a light, I guess, light work with light work, but you can also use it with shadow work. So here we have uh, forgiveness, grimness. I think the art here is really, really pretty as well. Solution, problem. So it sort of shows you the... Um, the shadow part and then the light part that comes with it, but also the other way around. So if there's something in your life that's light, then be aware, be conscious, conscious of the shadow parts um, so that you can sort of keep it in the light. Or if it's in shadow right now, how can you sort of help it come to the light? And I find that that is really interesting. I really like it. So there's rejection, mat maturing which I find interesting, asking and telling, uh, physical pain and emotional pain. And I find the, like I said, the artwork to be really, really pretty, true self and pseudo self. So that is the Shadow and Light Oracle by Selena Moon. Again, I am super excited about this. I have this on my Amazon wish list to get when it um, when it comes out. Okay, so the next deck that is coming out, also by Rockpool, in May is the Clairvoyance Oracle. And I am pretty sure that I already saw it on Instagram, actually. Um, Rockpool often goes to like these events, these fairs or whatever. And they have that like, little stand there where they sell their decks. And I already saw that the Clairvoyance Oracle was for sale on some of the events that they are at. So the um, Clairvoyance Oracle... Um, Let's see, I don't really, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what it's supposed, like what theme or whatever it's supposed to be around. So that is something that I will be looking a little bit more into. But overall, what I really want out of an Oracle deck is either like a very clear theme, like the Shadow and Light Oracle, um, or just cards that have a clear image with a very clear keyword. That is what I really like. So here, I think this is super clear and I really, really love this image here with happiness. Uh, I really like that. Emotional release. I like this card a lot too. So we have ethical or ethical? Um, ethnical. Sorry, ethnical. English is not my first language. Ethnical uh, diversity. I really like this one too. They are kind of body beautiful. Um, there are no faces. The people have no faces, which... Um, I mean, I, I get that. If I were to create, paint, draw people, uh, the faces would be one of the hardest parts, I guess. So I don't know if that's why they left them out or if it's because it's like you're clairvoyant, which is clear seeing, I I think. Again, English, not the first language. So maybe they did that on purpose. 
Uh, I think this is a pretty card meditation. I think this looks really cute too. It has, because of the white dresses, I am immediately immediately thinking like culty vibes. But again, I like the art style here. This is one, like I said, that I am anticipating so that I'm excited to see mostly like either walkthroughs of or just other people working with it. Um, yeah, there is, is there information on how many cards? Nope. Um, but it's created by Belinda Grace. Next, by Llewellyn. Um, the Disorder Tarot of Innocence. And I don't have any um, any decks that are very, very limited in color scheme. And this one is literally black and white. Like, there's barely any grace gray in here either. Um, oh, I forgot. You can't really make them bigger like that. You have to open them in a new tab. So I guess I'll do that. So that is the card backs. Um, can we? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. The Llewellyn website is ridiculous. Um, no, I like this musician. I like the Nine of Pentacles, so we know it's not a pip deck. Page of Swords, I like too. Hmm. Featuring the evocative monochrome illustrations of popular artist Diego Gabriel, this limited edition tarot deck, it's a limited edition, shows you how to find wisdom within disorder. Interesting. And does it mean like disorder as in the opposite of order of, or, or is it like um, a disorder? Hmm. Interesting, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, it, is, it says here deceptively simple, highly expressive, um, Includes nudity. I like that they uh, put that in there. Where do we see nudity then? Do we see nudity already? Am I so um, sort of used to it? I guess the the man's here. This is nudity too. Um, so how, uh, it's a tarot. I wanted to see how many cards is a tarot. It's coming out in April. Um, so this is a Los Carabeo Llewellyn uh, deck. Okay, so yeah, again, I like this. I will definitely need to see uh, walkthroughs of this. Definitely. But I do, I don't know, I'm intrigued by it. Usually I wouldn't really like something like this, but I'm intrigued. Okay, next, the Solitary Witch Oracle. Whenever anything has the name or the, the word witch in it, I am so intrigued. <laughs> I'm immediately intrigued. Um, let's see. Solitary Witch Oracle, uh, how many cards does it have? Can we see? Oh, does it not say? Does it not say? Oh, here, sorry. Um, 45 cards and 180 uh, page companion book. Um, let's see. Journey into the magical realm of the Solitary Witch Oracle and find the guidance you need. Lady Victoria's evocative and ethereal illustrations give, give deep meaning and power to each of the cards uh yes oh it's by lucy cavendish which i know a lot of people love their work is a oh uh, what is the there there's this deck that is also by lucy cavendish that people love let's see um i don't i, I don't have anything um from them uh oh i thought oh yeah the they have like the big heads like this one oh okay I guess. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go back to this one. Uh, and I like the look of this. I like the artwork. I think it's really pretty. Uh, again, I am just intrigued by anything that has the word witch in it. Um, if your deck has the word witch in it, uh, then I my like my my um, antennae just go. <laughs> and I don't love the. Let me think. I don't hate the borders here, the lacy borders that are on the sides of the cards. Um, but I don't like, I don't hate them, don't love them. Uh, I want to see more of the cards because the her herb garden doesn't really do much for me, like to see what it, what it means. These are the backs. Uh, we have the releasement, the releasement here. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have the healing tree of Litha. Looks pretty, looks pretty. Uh, then 
but I am not sure what it all sort of means to me. Like, it's all very pretty. Look closer, she is not lonely. Hmm. I am anticipating this, um, but I am also not about to purchase this as soon as it comes out. It comes out in April. Okay. Okay, let's just move on. Okay. Uh, now we are on Amazon. Um, let's see. Do I have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to make myself a little bit bigger here. <laughs> um, let me do that a little bit better. Because I don't want to expose my location. Oh, it's on the top too. Grimalkin's Curious Cat Tarot. This is an 80 card deck, so it will have extra cards. And this is one that was previously indie, but is now mass market. Cre uh, the creators, MJ Cullinan, 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 I think, uh, from the creator of the Crow Tarot. MJ Cullinan's artwork and their decks always intrigue me, and I'm always like one step removed from purchasing their deck um, like with the crow tarot and there are a couple of others as well but i somehow there's something that's holding me back from it i i don't really know and this one is the with it's all cats and i don't have a cat deck yet i don't know if i want one because i'm really more of a dog person and i already have a really great dog tarot deck but this one looks really really cute yeah, it looks really cute. Um, so this is one that I am anticipating. I will probably not get it, but it is some, or it, it is one that I'm keeping my eye on just because I think it's really cute. Like what is, what else is by MJ Cullinan? The Urban Crow, Guardian of the Night Tarot is one that I almost purchased. The Crow Tarot, yeah. So the Four Hexa Tarot as well. Ooh, the Wise Dog Tarot. There's a pocket edition of the Crow Tarot. This is also pre-order. When does this come out? June. Oh, that's for another video. I'm keeping this tab open so I can add it to my list for when I talk about June releases. This one looks so funny. It's the Pot Tarot. Um, is it even a tarot deck? We have nothing. But it looks so fun. <laughs> like, it looks so fun. Uh, there is nothing about this deck here yet, um, but it's a pot tarot, <laughs> and it looks funny. Um, I am keeping my eyes on this. This is, this is launching kind of soon, March 21st. That's not too far from when I'm posting this video. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. The pot tarot. <laughs> I just, it makes me laugh. I have nothing else to say because there are no cards to comment on. What would the card on the front be? Would this be with the rainbow? I would think like cups or something, but we have the weed. I don't know. I don't know. What card do you think this front here would be? Because usually on the front of a, of a deck box, you will see one of the cards from the deck. Interesting. Okay, and the last one that I want to talk about that I'm anticipating is the Herbal Tea Magic for the Modern Witch. Again, the word witch is in it as well as the word modern. <laughs> and those are trigger words for me that I want to get them or that I'm interested in them that make my antennae go whoop. Let's see. Uh, harness the power of green witchcraft and divination with magical herbs, florals, teas, and more. Perfect for beginners or more advanced witches. Let's see what it looks like. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. And what I like here is that we don't only have the image and the name of the plant or the herb, but it actually has some interesting or some triggering, I guess, keywords on there as well, which I appreciate because sometimes I feel like we don't get that enough with herbs or plants or whatever, those kinds of oracle cards. And I am not well versed in herbs and plants and their spiritual meanings at all. So having this oracle deck with the name and then the um, the association or the keyword, I guess, I really like that. So I could also um, 
use this as in, in my practice as seeing if there's something that I want to sort of manifest or if there's an energy that I want to work with, like for with peppermint, if I want to um, manifest wealth or if I want to work with the energy of, I don't know, positive thoughts and I do know where to find peppermint, then I can work with that in that way as well. So I like it. I think it's super simple, but it looks pretty. It really reminds me of the green witch oracle. It's actually on the bottom here. It really reminds me of this one, uh, which I used to have and I didn't like. So there's that. Oh, wait, we also have the Tarot of Tales. When is this coming out? March 14th. Okay, I can talk about this too. Um, I like the cards. It looks, they look, they look pretty. The cards look pretty, uh, but the borders will absolutely bother me um yeah they will bother me so that is that i guess on the uh on the tarot of tales there's more information here i know that i saw that on lisa papaz's uh video it's pretty but it's not my thing it's not my thing so i think those are all the uh yep those are all the decks that I want to talk about that I am anticipating for uh, upcoming deck releases. If you want to see more deck releases, but the ones that I am not anticipating and the ones that I will probably end up not getting, then stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see another fun video of mine that I recommend you watch next, click the video on the screen right now. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tarot chats, all that fun stuff. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.